is Alexander Chaves, and you may know me as Piper from The Next Step. Hey, Alexandra, and welcome to News Round. We're excited to get to chat to you. I want, there's so many questions that we all want to find out. So first off, can you explain Piper's storyline from Series 7 in 60 seconds? Ooh, okay. Two, one, go. After the Christmas episodes, when Piper finally realizes, you know, that she's valuable and every person has, uh, is important to the studio, then she tackles Dance Mania. So Dance Mania is the thing that they're working towards because the team has decided that it's more important right now than regionals. So she's working so hard for Dance Mania while also trying to hide her feelings for her friend who is dating her best friend, Amy. So Finn and Amy are dating. Piper doesn't feel okay about that, but she's trying to hide her feelings for Finn. Eventually, her best friend Amy realizes that Piper does have a crush on Finn. And after some drama, eventually Piper and Finn are dating. And they have a little bit of relationship drama, but yeah, that's that's it. Okay. All right, you did that with seconds to spare. Oh. That's good. <laughs> There's a lot. We have to pack, how many episodes is that? Like 20 or so? The fans will be able to to, to pinpoint what I might have missed. <laughs> There's a lot of drama in the show. There's so much to keep up with. Like, what's your favorite part about playing Piper? Oh, wow. That is such a hard question because I, I feel Piper and I relate so much. I mean, we, we both grew up in a competitive dance environment and um, I love I love the connection she has with her friends. I think I've learned a lot from Piper and her importance of being surrounded by uh, the people that she loves and that support her. Amy and Finn are so supportive. And also having a brother, uh, Trevor, who plays James on the show. It's so fun to kind of play that that sibling relationship. And when he is on set, he, it, he's just so fun to be around. Oh, I love that. And you are a great dancer. Have you <laughs> always loved dancing? I've always loved dancing. When I was younger, my mom put me in gymnastics, dance, soccer, hockey, or soccer you call football. Um, and dance is really what stuck. There was one point where I had to choose between hockey and dance, and I'm so glad that I chose dance. Um, just, I love storytelling, emotion, and I also love the athleticism of dance. So that really what was, that's really what drew me to continuing to pursue dance. And also what drew me to pursuing acting as well is the storytelling aspect of performing. I just love it. You've done like different types of dancing. So which one is your favorite? I really appreciate ballet for all the technical aspects and the placement, um, but I love lyrical and contemporary. And that's the majority of what Piper solos are on the show because you really get to portray emotion. There's usually like, it connects to a storyline or drama and you get to use the whole dance to tell your story through movement. And I just love that. What does dancing mean to you? Dancing is a way to express myself. And I feel like during these times, especially, I'm so grateful that I'm able to continue dancing at home. It's something that like, regardless of where you are, you can always move your body. And whether I'm feeling happy or sad, it just helps get that energy out. Um, and also right now, I'm able to take dance classes virtually with people around the world. And the fact that you're able to share that with like globally, I think is so special and it's able to bring worlds together. For me, what has been really important throughout the entire uh, lockdown is moving and being aware of like the mindful practices that I'm doing throughout the day. So whether that's meditation, journaling, but for me, moving my body, what my instinct is, is to dance. So it usually involves some sort of dancing. And even if I'm working out, I'm dancing throughout my workout. So dance is just a vessel to express myself and also be in the present moment and move my body. I'm just so grateful for it. So I know that wasn't, that wasn't like a small answer, but wow, like dance means the world to me. Let's talk about TikTok now. What do you think about the amazing TikTok dancers? I am so amazed at how much this platform has really elevated dance and again, made it accessible to everybody. Uh, I'm still working on my TikTok game, I will admit, but I'm, I love seeing either my sister try different TikTok moves and then teach me. Um, and also see what kind of moves are trending. So it's been a great source of inspiration too, because you get to see tons of different types of dancing and styles and moves. Uh, and I just, I love this platform that's really um, easy to share with everyone. You get to share dance. Yeah, it's like its own genre really. 
And I think, especially in lockdown, you're, it, it's moves that you're able to do in a, in a small space. There's a lot of hand movements. You don't have to really move around. So it's different, but also, again, it makes it more accessible to everybody. And I, I enjoy the, almost like simplicity. Like if you say, for example, oh, the whoa, you know what that is. Singing, like it's very visual, visual moves that portray really well on camera. And so I, I really enjoy it. I also love TikTok for um, its rawness. Like you just post, it doesn't have to be a, a beautiful, like high pro camera or whatever. You just get to post in your room or wherever you are. So I like that there's not as much pressure to be perfect. Speaking of all of these TikTok dances, <laughs> any chance you can teach me one? Yeah, I think we can put together something. Let's do it. So we start, I'm gonna try and use uh, words to explain the moves because for me, that's that's easier to remember. So okay. let's start, we go cross and open. And then this one, I like to think of like singing. So you're like singing, projecting your voice, projecting your voice. Then we do, almost forgot. This is my favorite. We call this stir the soup. So yeah. we're doing, stirring the soup and stirring the soup. <laughs> that's awesome look at you okay let's do it from the top and then i'll keep going we go cross open singing singing and then stir the soup and other one stir the soup and then we're going back we i'm going to use my right foot and we like pull back and we bring our hand to our hips and then other one to our hips and then this one is like you're amazed, you're mind blown, you move your head like this. Oh yeah, awesome. And then from there, we're gonna like step back and make a heart with our fingers here. So take your time with this. Oh, look, I'm so nice fit. I love fit. that. And then from there, pretend you're like, DJ, turn up the music. So you're like, like, can I hear you? Yes, and you kind of bounce with that. You can add your own groove. Bounce <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then together and then from there this is this is one of the like iconic moves the boys on the next step love the whoa so we're gonna throw it in in honor of them we go <laughs> whoa and this can be your own thing too but yeah yes look at you Shaniqua okay oh. let's do it one more time from the top and then we'll finish it up and do this TikTok so from the top we go cross and open mm -hmm. sing sing stir, stir the soup, the soup. Yes, stir the suit. And then we pull back to our hips and back to our hips. And then like mind blown, move. And then from there we draw a heart, time. And then DJ turn it up. And you can even like do like that, step together. Step together. And whoa. Whoa. Yes, okay. And then from there, uh, you just do two steps back, starting on your right again, step back, mm -hmm. step back. And then, like, open it up. Like, you're not letting the haters get in your way. Open it up like that. And then, like, sparkle down. I love this move. Ever since I was little. I like this one. I like that sparkle. Yeah. Love it. And then from there, um, this can be your own thing, but I like to, like, whip my hair back, whip my hair back. But it's whatever you're feeling. And then from there, in typical next step style, we always do, like, a pose in a line. That's, like, how we end all of our age troop dances. So, I like to do that at the end. I put my hands on my hips, but do whatever you are feeling. Okay. Um, so I can vote. That's, that's the dance. That's the TikTok dance. Uh, should we put it all together? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I'll try to go a little faster, but you're doing great. I'm very impressed. It right. goes five, six, seven, cross eight, open one, and then singing, singing, stir the soup, stir the soup, and then pull back. Yeah, pull back, mind blown, and then heart, listen, or DJ turn up, step together, and whoa, and then from there we go step back, step back, so like haters can't get in my way, sparkle down, and then whip, 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 whip. Oh. Whatever you feel. <laughs> and the key to this is having fun and you're already having fun. So should we do with music? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Five, six, seven, then cross. 